Today we're going to learn critical thinking standards and its element. First element is clarity. Understandable. The meaning can be grasped, free from confusion or ambiguity to remove obscurities. Clarity is a gateway standard. If a statement is unclear, one cannot determine whether it's accurate or relevant. In fact, it is impossible to tell anything about a statement without knowing what it's saying. For example, here to an unclear question. What can be done about the education system in America to adequately address the question of clearer understanding of how the person asking the question is conceptualizing the problem is needed? A clearer question might be, what can an educator do to ensure that students learn the skill ability which help them to understand the world in which may they, may they live and function as ethical person in that world? Thinking always more or less clear, it is helpful to assume that one does not fully understand a thought except for the extent that he or she can elaborate, illustrate and exemplify. Questions that focus on clarity in thinking include, could you elaborate on that point? Or do I need to elaborate on that point? Could you express that point in other way? Can I express that point differently? Could you give me an illustration? Or should I give an illustration? Could you give me an example? Or should I provide with an example? Let me state in my own words that what I'm, what I think you just said. Am I clear about your meaning? I hear you saying. Am I hearing you correctly, or have I misunderstood you? Accuracy, free from errors, mistake or distortion. Two, correct. A statement can be clear but not accurate, as in most dog weigh more than three hundred pound. Thinking always more or less accurate. It is useful to assume that statement accuracy has not been fully accessed except to the extent that one has checked to determine whether it represents things as they really are. Questions that focus on accuracy in thinking include how could I check that to see if it's true? How could I verify these alleged facts? Can I trust the accuracy of this data given to the source from which they come? Precision, exact to the necessary level of detail specific, a statement can be both clear and accurate but not precise, as in Jack is overweight. One does not know how overweight Jack is, 1 pound or 500 pound. Thinking, always more or less is precise. It is likely one does not fully understand a statement except to the extent he or she can specify in detail. Questions that focus on precision in thinking include, could you give me more details about that? Could you be more specific? Could you specify your allegation more fully? Relevance. Bearing upon or relating to the matter at hand implies a, co a close logical relationship with an importance to the matter under consideration. A statement can be clear, accurate and precise but not relevant to the question at issue. For example, students often think the amount of effort they put into course should be using in raising their grade in a course. Often, however, effort does not me measure the quality of student learning. And when it's, it's so, effort is irrelevant to their appropriate grade. Thinking is always capable of straying from a task, question, problem or issue under consideration. It is useful to assume individuals have not fully assessed thinking except to the extent that they have considered all issue, concept, information and relevant to it. Question that focus on relevance thinking include, I don't see what you said bear the question. Could you show me how it's relevant? Could you explain the connection between your question and the question we are addressing? How does this fear fact bear upon the issue? How does this idea relate to this other idea? How does your question relate to the issue at hand? Death, containing complexities and multiple interrelationship implies thoroughness in thinking through many variables of the situation, context, idea or question. Statement can be clear, accurate, precise, relevant but superficial. Lack of death, for example, statement just say no. Which was used for a number of years to discourage children and teens from using drugs is clear, accurate, precise, relevant. Nevertheless, those who take this injunction to solve social problem of unhealthy drug use fail to appreciate the true complexity in the problem. Their thinking is superficial at best. Thinking can either function at the surface of things or probe beneath the surface to deeper matter and issues. 
a lot of thinking is not fully assessed except for the extent that one has fully considered all the important complexity inherent in it. Question that focus depth in thinking into is the question simple or complex? Is easy or difficult to answer well and truly? What makes this question com uh, complex question? How am I dealing with the complexity inherent in question? Breath, encompassing multiple worldview point comprehensives in view, wide ranging, broad minded in perspective, a line of reasoning may be clear, accurate, precise, relevant and deep, but lack in breath, as in argument from either the conservative or liberal standpoint which relax which details the complexity of the issue but only recognize insight from the perspective. Thinking can be more or less broad minded or narrow minded and breadth of thinking requires the thinker to reason insightfully within more than one point of view, frame or reference. One has not fully assessed the line of thinking except the extent that individual has determined how much breadth of thinking is required to understand and how much in fact has been exercised. Questions that focus on breath and thinking include what points of view are relevant to this issue, what relevant points of view have I ignored thus far. Logic, the part that makes sense together, no contradiction in keeping the principle of sound judgment and reasonability. When one thinks, a person brings a variety of thoughts together into some order. When combination of thoughts is mutually supporting and makes sense of combination, the thinking is logical. When the combination is not mutually supporting, it is contradictory or does not make sense, the combination is not logical. Thinking can be more or less logical. It can be consistent, integrated, it can make sense together, it can contradict or conflict thing. Does question that focus on logic include, does this fit together logically? Does this really make sense? Does that follow from what you said? Does what you say follow from the, the evidence? Before you implied this and now you're saying that, I don't see how both can be true. What exactly is your position, significance, having importance, being of consequences, having considerable or substantial meaning? That's all for today. We will see you again next week.